<laughs> that is a tasty pepperoni. Welcome back once again to Pizza Sutra. We've been kind of huddling down, sitting tight, not traveling much, but we decided we're gonna bring the California beaches and clear skies right here to us right now. We're talking about the California Pizza Kitchen Margarita Pizza. Vine ripened Roma tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, sweet basil, mozzarella, and fontina cheese over tomato basil sauce. I'm excited to do it, and I hope you guys are too. Let's get cracking. For our California Pizza Kitchen Margarita Pizza, preheat oven to 400 degrees. Remove the box, plastic wrap, and cardboard from pizza. Place your pizza directly on center oven rack and bake for 17 to 18 minutes. What do you think of when you hear the word California? Well, here at Sutro, what we think about is we think about movies. Movies, we love movies. Here at the Sutra, California Cool screams Quentin Tarantino. So on this episode, we're gonna be talking about that master of film. Like all great anythings, Tarantino blazed his own path. Much like Kevin Smith, those two were kind of from the same like generation of filmmakers, the do-it-yourself, like rock and roll type of stuff in the 90s. But Tarantino, at age 16, dropped out of high school. And from there, he spent about two years going to like an acting school. But he dropped out of that too, because he got bored. Soon after, he co-wrote and directed a movie called My Best Friend's Birthday. I was gonna commit suicide. I was actually gonna commit suicide. I was gonna go up in the bathroom, I was gonna fill a tub of hot water, and I was gonna slice open my veins. I was actually gonna, I mean, I was gonna do it. Now, for a three-year-old to be thinking like that, that's really depressing. That movie never got completed, and it kinda got burned up in a fire, which is pretty wild, but you can see some clips online if you search for it. It's not, you know, complete, but neat. The screenplay from that uh, movie, however, ended up turning into a movie called True Romance. True Romance ended up funding a movie called Reservoir Dogs. That kind of paved the way for Tarantino to move forward and make some other crazy awesome movies that we all love, such as Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards, uh, Kill Bill, to name a few. Fun fact, Tarantino absolutely refuses to use anything besides like physical film for his movies. No digital anything. So there was a uh, film festival. At that film festival, they were hosting a 35th anniversary of Pulp Fiction. Again, one of the coolest movies ever, but Tarantino absolutely refused to show it unless it was shown on 35 millimeter projection which it did, and at that film festival, it was the only one that was shown using that medium. He hates digital so much that this crazy wild man doesn't even use email to communicate. What he does, if you wanna get a hold of Quentin Tarantino, you're like, wow, I have this cool movie idea, and for whatever reason you have his phone number, you have to call his house and leave him a message. His films stand out from other directors because he stands out as an individual and as his own person. We love you, Mr. Weirdo Tarantino, because we are in fact a bunch of weirdos ourselves. Keep being you and keep rock and rolling, man.
So the uh, California pizza kitchen pie, the margarita is out of the oven and it looks delicious. It's a little, a little floppier than what I wanted it to be. Um, the cheese looks good. The tomatoes look really fresh. Um, basil all over the pie. I'm really excited to just shove this whole thing in its entirety in my mouth. Mmm. So, mmm. <laughs> First thing that jumps at me, those tomatoes, those robust uh, rom romaine tomatoes. Delicious. Um, oh, it's leaking too. <laughs> the pizza juices are coming out from the tomatoes and the oils and stuff like that. Uh, the cheese, those little square things of cheese are very tasty and they, the texture's really, really nice and really fun on my tongue. I like it a lot. So, like I said, um, we cooked it at the 17 to 18 mark and it's a little floppy. That's okay. That'll can't be winners. <laughs> the sauce is more of a uh, an oil, a basil and oil type of thing, and the tomatoes and that oil really, really, really blend well, and they match the pizza so well with the cheese and the crust. And man, there's tons of basil for frozen uh, tomatoes. I'm I'm really excited to get to the next bite. And it kind of looks like they have a little bit of sauce on it. If you can look right there, it kind of looks like there's, they kind of hid some sauce in there to add a little more tomato flavor, which is okay. Um, the crust, uh, I would want it to be a little crispier, but um, the flavor's not bad. It meshes with the pie well. And as you can tell, it's, it's a leaky pie. It's a wet pie. I like it. I like it. But, Anyway, I finished that slice, so I'm gonna let the rest of Pizza Sutra try it, and we're gonna talk about what we think about this pizza. So we'll be right back. So we tried that pizza, and there's only one thing we could say about it. That was a tasty slice. So for our tasty pie that we have just totally decimated, for our crust, we got a three out of eight slices. The reason why is it advertises for a crispier crust, but we cooked it at the 17 to 18 minute mark and it still wasn't crispy and it still didn't like hold up the tomatoes all the way. It was flavorful. It tasted kind of like it was a par baked pie. So we expected it to get a lot crispier, a lot faster for our sauce. We got a five out of eight slices and we thought it was really good. It was a tomato, basil, olive oil sauce. So the tomato sauce kind of amped up the tomatoes that were already on the pie and the olive oil just kind of kept it greasy so it could slide down your gutty wuddy really easily. Man, we all, <laughs> we all liked that a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. For our cheese, we got a six out of eight slices because the, the mozzarella and what, what kind of cheese was it? Fendi Fanita or something, whatever kind of weird cheese they put on it. It was really good and I think it was those square little chunks. So yeah, look out for those square chunks. They're really good. For our toppings, we got a seven out of eight slices because those tomatoes, they stay frozen, but they seemed fresh. They were flavorful. And overall the pie was like really light with all those tomatoes. And we've done a few margarita pizzas before and they're all really enjoyable. Mind you, in season one, the Archer's Farm Pizza won uh, the best of year or whatever, and it was a margarita pizza. For an overall score of 5.25 for this pie, I don't know if it did as well as the Archer Farms pie, but at a price point of $6.99, I definitely recommend you guys go check it out because this is kind of a healthier pie and margaritas are a little lighter and I really like them, and I hope you guys do too. Go try it. Anyway, everybody, thanks again for watching. Remember, pizza is love. Remember to click things and subscribe and comment what you guys think about, you know, all these crazy margarita pies and stuff and Tarantino films. What's your favorite Tarantino film? All right, see you later, bye.